I robot per un museo della scienza e della tecnologia sono un ambito di, di, di racconto, è un tema bellissimo di frontiera e ovviamente si può declinare in tantissimi ambiti e come la storia della produzione industriale piuttosto che um, i robot nella, nella didattica, nell'educazione all'interno del museo come vettore di tante competenze legate alla matematica, all'informatica, alla meccanica ma oggi in particolare eh, noi presenteremo un androide che è stato progettato da, da uno dei massimi esperti di robotica delle, delle scienze cognitive eh, al mondo, ehm, che ha una grandissima esperienza nella progettazione di robot antropomorfi, eh, robot che nelle loro espressioni facciali, nella loro mimica e anche nella pelle eh, somigliano tantissimo alle persone. E questo ambito di, di ricerca è particolarmente importante perché ehm, permette di conoscere meglio l'essere umano e allo stesso tempo migliora la progettazione di, di, di robot che è particolarmente eh, sentito nella, nella cultura orientale, pare vivranno con noi nel prossimo futuro. So that this year the Milano Expo. So we like to have some kind of memorable event and the idea comes from you know As I mentioned, if the Leonardo da Vinci is alive today, he must be the robotics researcher. Therefore, instead, we would like to make some symbol of the Leonardo da Vinci. Oh, it's Android. So by using the most advanced technology of the, from Japan to the children in Italy, Milan. That's the idea. I suppose maybe the robot technology, of course, you know, the Japan is reading this area, but it's very, very competitive. The United States or Europe, they may have their own, you know, advantage. But in case of the Android, I suppose maybe the Japan is reading this area. So uh, we suppose that the robot is not the enemy, but the, the member, family member or the partner. So Japan is a very famous cartoon, is Astro Boy or uh, Astro Boy or Draymond. It's like a family member. So all the time with us. I expect that the robots should contribute to the society. It means that the robot replaces the work and not suitable for humans. So some type, of, some type of the work is very, very difficult for the human to do. In that case, the robot should do that. So instead, so the humans, okay, so robots should work some earlier. And instead, the humans work on another area, the new area. So I expect that robot, the replacement of the, the work by robots produce the new working, new areas. And then the humans should contribute to this part. This android, um, Da Vinci androids uh, make movement only the up uh, head and neck movement. And <clears throat> The operation is uh, two types. One is a pre-programming pre -programming operation. The other one is an interactive system. So then the people can control the movement and the facial expression. And also uh, the operator has a headset and the gyro sensor is on top. So then if the operator uh, turns the head uh, front and back, the Android will be in the same movement, also turn. And also uh, if the operator speak, then uh, the Android can speak by using a lip syncing. Mm. It takes four months for building, but uh, before four months we have to discuss the detail, of, detail about uh, Leonardo because we don't have enough information about his, himself, o not only his face, but also his facial expression. N nobody knows how, how he was. We try to make a movement for the arm movement, also the body movement. And in future, we, uh, we are keen to put some artificial intelligence on this, uh, this Android. Because he, he, now is, uh, people is operating now, but in, in the future, so many uh, companies, not only in Japan, but also in, in Italy and other countries, uh, companies developing the artificial intelligence. So then if we uh, match together, so Android and artificial intelligence should be exciting. Madonne Messeri, un caro saluto a tutti voi, da me Leonardo da Vinci, e spero di vedervi presto qui al Museo Nazionale di Scienza e Tecnologia, modestamente intitolato a me, Leonardo da Vinci.